All right, this is how to make a smartphone battery last longer. As you can see, I've taken my screen, I've made it black. Basically, you take a picture and put your hand over and take the picture. The problem with this phone is when you take the picture, it's actually gray. You got to take the picture, put it into a, a photo editor and then paint it black. Then put it back into your card, put it back into the phone and save the screen as black. Another thing, you notice all I have on my front screen are the phone and the messaging. That's all you need. As you, oops, as you can see right here, I have three screens. You need to leave one icon on your front. I use Google the most. See how much bright it is. I should actually get rid of that and maybe use the camera. So I want to move the Google over. Oh, don't want to do that. If I do that, you got to leave one on there or else it screen disappears all right we're going to leave the camera on there and we're going to move google over here now the screen is using a lot less up here recent apps are shown there this one on the second screen uses the least amount of brightness so i'm going to leave that one there I'm at 41%, so because I turned the screen up and I'm at 100%, now all of a sudden, this battery just went within like a few minutes from 43% down to 41%. So one of the most important things, don't leave your screen at a full 100%, drop it down to 50. Me, personally, I bring my phone all the way down to like 20. I work at night, you don't need it that bright. I mean, you can still see where the icons are. If you're using the phone, you know exactly where your icons are. But because I'm giving a tutorial on how to make a smartphone battery last longer, then on my second screen, my time, my weather, calculator, brightest flashlight, calendar, and then obviously my Google. My third screen has all the apps, folders that I do not use. And there is the most important thing to make your battery last longer. Okay, Wi-Fi, you do not need it. Bluetooth, you do not need it. Leave those off. That eats a lot of battery. I have my Wi-Fi off and it says I'm still using it, so I don't get it. Then in your settings here, if you notice, I have location turned off. If you're not using your phone for GPS or you're not an Uber driver, you don't need location on sync that sync feature it your phone continually tries and talking to your email so shut off the sync you want to check your email turn it on after you're done with your emails shut it off sound leave it on bluetooth off nfc i think that's the payment thing for the phone so you could pay with your phone rotation and captures on and color inversion, comfort view, I leave that on, that turns all the color screen into black and white. And then there's a data saver, but I don't use it that much, I don't do that much data. I could put that on, mobile data restricted. And then this over here, this battery saver, any phone that has a battery saver, if you're doing what I'm telling you to do, battery saver will actually use more power than what I've done on this phone. All right. Tethering sound. On your sound, ringtone ID, I got that off, sound and vibration. You wanna shut the vibration off. Vibrate on tap, you wanna, oops. Vibrate on tap. You want to shut that off, but it's not letting me. Oh, there we go. All right. Notifications. Second screen. The lock screen. If you do. If you can 